Why can't we make honey? Worldwide, about 50 million colonies of bees, tended by some 6.5 million beekeepers, produce an estimated 900,000 tons of honey a year. They turn it out in a wide and wonderful variety of flavors and aromas, according to the type of flowering trees and plants on which the bees feed. In some countries, such as Australia and the United States, commercial beekeepers move their hives great distances to exploit new and high-yielding nectar and pollen sources as particular trees come into flower. If bees can produce honey so efficiently and in such variety, it may seem pointless to try to make honey in a factory. Yet many food scientists have tried to find a cheap substitute. The most successful process uses corn syrup, but few would deny that it lacks the subtle flavor of honey, which is a complex mixture of many ingredients. Honey contains several different sugars. A dozen elements such as potassium, calcium, sulfur and iron, and a range of organic acids, proteins and free amino acids. The precise composition depends greatly on the kind of nectar and pollen that the bees have fed on. The kind of nectar affects a honey's proportions of fructose and glucose. The bees' way of making honey, too, is complex and difficult to copy. Honeybees collect nectar and store it in their honey sacs for the return flight to the hive. Already the process of converting nectar to honey has begun. In the hive, the bees regurgitate the fluid from their sacs. Fellow workers swallow it, adding proteins and evaporating more of its water. The fluid is put into cells of the honeycomb, and more water is evaporated by the constant fanning of the bees' wings. The bees keep the hive at a constant temperature of 34 to 35 degrees Celsius, 93 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. If the hive gets too hot, they increase their fanning. Already, as part of the hive's air conditioning system, they have deposited reserves of water, which their fast beating wings evaporate. If the hive needs further cooling, the colony may disperse with some bees clustering outside. If the hive becomes too cold, the bees cluster more tightly inside, using their body warmth to raise the temperature. When they have evaporated water from the fluid in the cells to 20% or less, they instinctively judge the honey to be ripe, and not liable to ferment. They seal off the cells by covering them with wax. Not surprisingly, all our attempts to imitate this meticulous process have failed. Producing honey without bees is like trying to make champagne without grapes.